Today we've got a fun iron comparison taking a look at the T100 irons from the past two generations, the 2019 T100 and the 2021 T100. We're going to do some testing and see how they compare. Golfers, if you enjoy this club comparison video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Also give this video a like and leave a comment and tell us how we did as well. Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at the Second Swing Minnetonka location. Today we're out on the driving range with a couple of irons. Um, I've got in my hand the 2019 T100. In your hand you've got the 2021 T100. So kind of the uh, two years difference uh, for Titleist irons. They release every two years their new iron line. Um, it's that time of year in that summer month where Titleist releases their iron set. Um, T100 in your hand, I have the older T100. Um, I'm just quick looking at this, Thomas. I see a different finish, the shiny chrome versus kind of the satin. But of course, there may be some other differences to look at as well. Yeah, definitely. So I'm looking at the new T100, and it's definitely not as shiny. Mm -hmm. I grabbed the uh, older T100 generation. And first off, I'm seeing, I'm looking at the sole of the club. So I can see from reflection. Yeah. I can kind of see my bald head a little bit <laughs> down looking down there. So I don't like that at all. But uh, yeah, the, the new T100 is much cleaner looking even just generally all around them so i'm looking at the back of the clubs yeah yeah you can kind of see there's there's less badging going on this looks yeah. more like a just a pure blade yeah. on the on the back while this has got just a little bit more going on mm -hmm. i know there's been some comments about people that have been playing these clubs they just kind of you know you don't see it at a dress but at the back of the club you can kind of see some yeah some there's, some there's a lot of activity back there and the, yep. t the new t100 they've cleaned that up a lot uh, in my opinion and so and i think you've made the comment in some of our other t100 videos um, that it's continuing every year with their kind of whether it's AP2 or whether it's now into the T100 iron looking more and more like a blade or like kind yep. of they're slimming the iron down a little bit so um, we'll see how it tests now on track man because um, I mean everything about the iron should be pretty similar you know lofts and specs things like that are pretty similar but we'll see if the construction has changed the performance at all. Yeah I'm, I'll be interested to see what the feel is like difference mm -hmm. now we know we've got satin versus chrome if that even makes a difference or not. Uh, visually looking at, at a dress, a little thinner. I, I know every iron that they come out with, I try and make it just a little bit more appealing on the eye, and I think the top line is just a, just a touch thinner. And I'm looking at the toe is maybe mm -hmm. just a little bit more rounded with the new T100, maybe a little bit more pointed with the older T100. But I'm trying to be nitpicky here. Yeah. I'm excited to hit some shots and see how they compare. Yeah, let's get after it. That is all over it. Just drew left of the Just target. Just left. Jeez, how many? Okay, that one's all over it. Yep, that one was right that over. That might go. That might go in the hole. Just push that one a little right. Mm -hmm. Didn't quite clear the hips out of the way. Well, for as good as that dispersion was before that shot, it kind of, yeah, it leveled it out a little bit. <laughs> There's a little pull there. It's only me reacting to the shot before. Yeah, a little bit. It's a tad heavy, but it should be okay. Okay, so Thomas, that's the 2019 T100. Um, you know, in terms of numbers, we can kind of bring this up a little bit here on the left side, but um, your spin was just over 6,000 at 63.93 on average. Carry of 178.2, total 184.1. Um, what are your thoughts? I mean, those numbers plus kind of how it looks and feels. It's pretty much my numbers for the 34 degree uh, 7 iron. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, so I mean yep. that's I mean what that's kind of what you'd expect then. I mean it also shows kind of how dialed you are. Because I know you, whenever I ask you about your seven iron distance, you say carry about one seventy eight to one eighty. Yep, one seventy eight point two here. So uh, pretty solid. But visually at that club, I mean, does so like the the shiny chrome. Does that you see that at a dress at all or no? So on the toe and the heel, yeah, you can see a little more shininess. Sure. But yeah. the middle of the club face, it is it's not shiny. Okay. So. It kind of makes up for it there. 
Um, but it is definitely noticeably a lot shinier from the heel all around, way around the toe, minus the club face. Okay. So that's one thing, especially if you're, you're playing in the sun, you're not wearing sunglasses, you're out. It may be a little bit more yeah. distracting. Sure, sure. So okay. I'm excited to test the new T100 out yeah. and compare the differences. I'm sure that look will be a lot different. All right, so Thomas, before even hitting, do you, I mean, looks wise, do you see a ton of difference there? I, I mean, the top line and the toe is kind of where I, where I noticed okay. it. And then also the, the fact that it's more of a satin look. Yeah. yeah. Um, without looking at the back, it looks pretty close, just mm -hmm. with maybe a ever so slight slim down version. Okay. It's I wouldn't expect it to be a huge difference. Yeah. Performance wise, like one year, well, one year, one generation to one generation. Yeah. yeah. Performance wise, we know it's the same aloft on it. I'm kind of expecting pretty similar numbers. Okay. Say it out the right just a little bit. Just a little bit. Sixty eight. Oh, wow, sixty eight eighty. Bingo. Sixty-three. Sixty-five, sixty-eight. Sixty-five, 65, so it spins a little more. I think that's what we're seeing. Yep. Is that one, I got going a little bit left. Yep. Does it still spun more though? That one's a little bit more left too. 67 on that one, yeah. Yeah. It's more spin. All right, so Thomas, the new T100, um, again, just after now hitting the shots, is there any difference in feel between that one and 2019 T100? It's actually noticeably softer. Okay. It, it is a little noticeably softer, and maybe a little bit muted as well. Okay. Maybe not quite as, as, as loud. I mean, it's not gonna be a dramatic difference. You mm -hmm. may hear it maybe a little more inside in, in an environment too, but it's right. pretty similar. Uh, the one thing I found interesting, and I, I kept on thinking, I kind of guess what the uh, spin rate was on, on the 790 every time I hit it. I was like, oh, that's got to be pretty close to the other one, but it actually spun more. It did. And there was a couple that pulled a little left, a couple I pushed a little right. I think every single shot had a higher spin than the average spin with the old. Yeah, one. yeah. So I think the one thing to note is like, you even had a couple that went left here. I'm going to try and get the spin. So like, you had, well, you had two shots that went left of center with the new T100. They spun at what 67 and 66, call it RPM. Yep. Um, but you had the one that went left with the T, the previous T100 that was 64. You had one, another one at 64, and 62 of the three that were left of center. So you're getting more spin with that, you know, because you can't play that draw. So it seems like the average shot with a T100, the new version, would spin more than the previous version of T100. So. Um, something to know for golfers, uh, depending on where you're at with your spin rates and, and maybe looking at the new T100. Now, what was the average on those five shots overall? Was it about 300 RPM difference? Yeah, about a 300 RPM difference. Okay. So, with the 2019 version, it was 63.93 on average. And with the new version, it was 67.11. So, just over 300 RPM okay. difference. So and Club speed, pretty similar overall yeah, I mean, average? Well, one mile an hour difference, 90.2 okay. to 89.2. So that's yep. probably part of the There's difference. There's a little bit to it. So, um, so maybe, so you maybe take that club speed into consideration, call it maybe 150, 200 RPMs, yeah. more spin. Mm -hmm. yep. Something like that. And then, because that also contributed to the, the carry distance was pr actually pretty identical both all the way around. 178.2, 179. And then carry distance, or the total distance was actually separated by one tenth of a yard. 184.1, 184.0. Yep. So. so pretty much, I mean, Loft does its job, it's going to go the same distance if you have, that's why it's important gapping to make sure you know what loft you got on your clubs. Right. If you want to hit the ball at the right distance. But 34 degrees aloft versus 34 degrees aloft, I'm not going to expect a major difference. And that's a keep, one thing to keep in mind with board in here too. Second swing, we do sell a lot of used mm -hmm. inventory on the older T100. So if those players do like the, the shinier chrome look with the older model, 
you might be able to get that at a little discounted price versus the new T100 yeah, irons. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but then the only thing to notice, kind of really the big takeaway here is, uh, I know you mentioned a couple of differences maybe in the feel, maybe a little bit softer on the new version, and then also the spin rates, just a little bit different, uh, a little bit higher spin with the 2021 T100. But um, overall, again, they're, we expect them to be pretty similar. They are pretty similar, but those differences can make you know a big deal on the golf course. So important to uh, talk with a fitter, such as Thomas here, if you're looking at a new set of irons, uh, looking at the new T100s, something to keep note on uh, comparing them to the 2019 version. So. Yeah, it's, it's important to note, you know, this is only one player's perception right. and opinion. That's why it's important to come on into second swing and actually compare them yourself. Compare them versus even other iron models and also bring in your trades to help mm -hmm. discount the price a little bit. While you're going online to secondswing.com to schedule your fitting, you can also head over to our YouTube channel and subscribe to our channel. We've got more comparisons, more reviews, uh, more product insight coming your way from the channel. So Thomas, thank you for joining today and providing the great information for us. Not a problem.